Hi, it's Darnell with Way Over Recipes. Today, I'm going to be cooking up some mahi-mahi in the Gourmet French Door Air Fryer Oven. So let's see how it does with some mahi-mahi fillets right now. Alright, so what I have here are three fresh mahi-mahi fillets. And they've got skin on the back, so I won't need to flip them over for the seasoning part. But for the seasonings, I'm going to be using a combination of, I've got some Old Bay lemon and herb seasoning. Also got some lemon pepper seasoning. It's more of a salt based one. So I'm just going to do these two together and just, you know, see how things turn out. But nothing in this video is sponsored. I do have my eye grill two here with the meat probe. So what I'm going to do with the eye grill two, I'm just going to measure temp in the piece that will be closer to the front of the cooker because that one will probably take a little longer anyway and just cook it all like that but gonna go ahead and get things seasoned up here and you can use basically you know any seasonings that you feel are pretty good to you I like um, usually like salt based seasonings for something like the mahi mahi all right now that things are all seasoned up I'm going to go ahead I think since this big one you know is a lot looks a lot thicker than the other I'm just going to put them all you know kind of like this but put the probe in the biggest one I guess if I put the biggest one in the middle well I don't want to overcook the other stuff too much I could put the biggest one in the middle and it might take you know a little longer that way but then the others on the outside might cook faster but this one being thicker probably will still cook, take longer to cook anyway. So, all right. So we got the probe in there. All right. So now it's time to get the cooker turned on. So, going to go over to roast, and we'll try for a temp of 325 degrees Fahrenheit for. Well, let's do 375 actually. We'll go a little hotter. We'll do 375. For cooking time, it's not going to take 30, Lord willing, but I just want to even time the count down for them. So we'll just let that preheat and then we'll get the fish on in there. All right. So now it's time to get our food on in. I actually mistakenly left a. Uh, wire rack up there but we'll get that out the way and get this on in all right and whoops wrong door first always got to close your door to your right before your door to your left go ahead and get this other door closed without trying to make sure the wire is not in the way or not you know impeding things and i want to get it right there there's always a gap right there it's always a gap right there that I like to try and have that cord on to you know minimize any disturbance from the cord but we'll go ahead and let things continue to cook like this and I'll bring you back when it looks like we reach about 145 on that big one all right things have been cooking for almost 19 minutes and it just went up to 145 I'll let it get down to an even 19 and then I'll go ahead and get those out of there. Get them onto my cutting board here. I do have on the bake pan a Kalpa Chef Bacon Grill Mat. And if you're interested in those, I don't know if they'll have them in stock or not. But you can check the uh, link to my Amazon shop in the video description and see if they have them in stock or not. But they work out pretty well because they're reusable and they don't... Uh, increase the heat of things too much like aluminum foil is sometimes prone to do so just go and get this probe out of here first just get that pulled out all right now i'm going to go ahead and pull the fish out you can have a look at that i think that looks very nice now i'm going to go ahead and get them onto the cutting board They look pretty good though. Looks like it turned out well. As they say, all is well that ends well, even with the big one. There we 
go. The cooker does do a cool down for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or more. It takes a while to do its cool down, but there we have our completed fish. So I'm going to go ahead with this big piece, just turn it here and just slice right through there. We'll see what's going on inside. There you see a view inside the fish, fully cooked. Just going to get myself a slice, we'll cut a piece for taste test purposes, put it over here on my plate on the side. We'll do a taste test. Alright, so we have our nicely cooked mahi-mahi here, and we'll thank the Lord for this and do a taste. turned out very good. The lemon herb of the Old Bay mixed with the lemon pepper, very nice flavor. That was a combination I was kind of curious about and turns out real good. So with all of that done and finished, you uh, now know that the cooker can cook up some fish real nice. And in the video description you'll see ways to help this channel, my cookbook, other ways. And if you did like this video, also I forgot to mention, my blog, SuperWaveOvenRecipes.com. You can also always find lots of recipes there. There'll be a link to this recipe in the video description also. And if you did like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your comments. Subscribe. Hit that notification icon. And good eating.